So, we have received news about the upcoming rerun banners of version 5.1 and the estimated Primagem count. So in this video, we'll take a look at all the rewards we will get in version 5.1. As you all know, Zilonin is getting her first banner in the next patch, and characters like Chiori, Nahida, and Hu Tao are getting their reruns, so you must want to know how many Primo gems you can get in the next 5.1 patch. And that's why we are here, aren't we? Okay, so we have received the estimated Primo gem count for the 5.1 update from Team Mew, a reliable source, and things aren't looking good at the moment. Compared to the current version 5.0, the next version will give a significantly lesser amount of Primo Gems. As you probably know, there will not be any map expansion in version 5.1, so we won't get any Primo Gems from exploration. And this is the first time it's happening. Like Hoyoverse isn't adding any new areas in any X.1 update. But regardless of that, there will be new events, quests, and other permanent content. So let's get started. Version 5.1 will also add some new quests, and despite being a filler update, 5.1 will also feature Acts 3 and 4 of Natlan's Archon quests. As announced by the developers during the 5.0 livestream program, they will give us 500 Primo Gems for completing the Archon quests, so we can get around 1,035 Primo Gems from World Quests and the Archon Quest. And yeah, we will get two intertwined fates as well. Next up, the server maintenance. As soon as version 5.1 is available, all players will receive 600 Primo Gems from Hoyoverse for server maintenance, and you can get a total of 2,520 Primo Gems from the most boring thing in Genshin Impact, the Daily Commissions. Now moving on to the events, there will be five events in version 5.1. We are getting an extra event because it's a filler patch, the Sabzaruz Festival is coming back, and so is Nahida, and we will get a free copy of Candice during the main event, along with 1,000 Primo Gems and some other rewards. Other than that, there will be four mini-events, including the Marvelous Merchandise event, and we can get around 2,610 Primo Gems from the events. The Spiral Abyss will reset twice during the 5.1 update, so 1,600 Primo Gems from there, and the Imaginarium Theater will reset only once, so 800 Primo Gems from there. From achievements, Zilonin's story quest, character trials, redeem codes, and web events, we can get around 400 Primo Gems. Paimon's store will also refresh during the 5.1 update once, so you can exchange five intertwined fates worth 800 Primo Gems using Stardust. Lastly, there will be the special program for version 5.2, and we will get three redeem codes worth 300 Primo Gems. Now, if we add up these numbers, we can get up to 10,735 Primo Gems, or 67 Wishes, in version 5.1 for Zalonen and the reruns. I know it's not enough to hit the soft pity, let alone getting a 5-star character, so you'll probably have to spend some money in case you want to get more than one character, and that's when you can use Loot Bar. 